Hi, hey everybody, it's me. Hi, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Green light. Um, welcome to my video. This is Pudgy Picker. If you've never been here before, this is probably going to be a long video. So I got two guests with me. I'm going to have to start getting a bus here at this point. <laughs> so who is this? Most, uh, most of you should I, know. She gave birth to me. <laughs> There's only one other person on the planet can claim that. So this is my son, Connor. And everybody remembers. Hi, it's Rob. It's Robbie. So last video I put up was 55 minutes we yapped. Can you believe that? I couldn't play games on my computer for two hours while I was waiting to edit that thing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so today, again, we are garage sailing. It is a Thursday. We've hit one sale so far, and I spent a third of my money, and Connor doesn't have any money. And Rob only has 50s. I, you big spender. I'm the worst. I'm the worst kind of person. You're one of those people. I show up to garage sales with $50 bills. Yeah. Here, it's $1.50. Do you guys take 50s? They would have taken them there. Probably. So we hit one sale so far, and this sale, uh, Rob, say what you know about this lady, because I kind of guessed when you told me. Yeah, so this lady, what she does is every, I hope they can hear me, every year she, or multiple times a year, what she does is she, her job is she cleans out people's estates and stuff for them. So at the end of doing all the cleaning out, she takes all of that stuff and part of her payment is selling it. And she always makes sure to sell everything less than eBay. Yeah. Um, her goal is to get rid of absolutely everything. But super nice lady. Used to give me sneak peeks at all the stuff. So. Because she doesn't live too far from you. She lives three minutes from my house, if that. That's <laughs> good. And why were we at Rob's house this morning? Oh. <laughs> True confession time. Rob pulled a 16-year-old Rob and just didn't wake up to anything this morning. So he had to be picked up. Yes. But he was like at the far end of, of where I garage sale. So his punishment is going to have to carry everything home and walk home. No, I'm just kidding. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So we're going to get some money out. I spent like 36. Oh, my gosh. The person they had in charge... <laughs> of, of calculating. Oh, At one point she hit it, it was like $108,000. I was like, She okay. did not know how to use a calculator. It yeah. Was a very nice lady. Oh, very oh, capable yeah. of using a calculator. You know. Once she started just doing the math in her head, she was like, oh, it's 30. <laughs> yeah. So I spent, uh, I think, thirty six twenty five, And, uh, well, 10 of that was, was Connor. Yeah. Uh, printer. Yeah, I got a big printer. Has a scanner, all that stuff. It's color printer, so what even brand was it? Uh, I think it was a it was Canon. Canon. It was a Canon, yeah. So. Yeah, that was a nice printer. Counter picked up. So how much is that gonna sell? Uh, I saw one pre-owned selling for about eighty. So I'll have to clean it up. It's real dirty and has some yellowing on the top on the plastic, but hopefully it'll clean out. I think it should. So magic eraser. Yeah. So and what did Rob buy? I got a ton of big box games, which is like old computer games, but they come in these giant boxes, and they're really cool. Okay, we're going to pause because we don't want everyone to know our PIN numbers. <laughs> okay. Bye. I think I bought, what, one thing at the last? Did you buy something? I didn't yeah, even... I got a little hand-tooled leather. It's like a clip for your belt. It's got horses and stuff. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, you Four showed us bucks. that. Yep. So, I don't know. It's either a real small cell phone or... Yeah, cool. Put your keys when you're riding your horse. Excuse me. Oh, you're so, excused. you guys are all gabby till the camera goes on. I know. Right? Well, what do you want us to talk about? Well, does Connor have any questions? Connor. We're going to do some more getting to know you questions. Oh, boy. So. Well, let's see. Uh, the first question. Speak up so we can all hear. I, I know. What is worth spending more on to get the best? Who wants to go first? Me. All right. Yeah. Um, when it comes to clothes, shoes, and underwear. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, I wear jockey underwear and I love it. So now everyone knows. And shoes, I mean, that's if, like, if I'm, the things that put me in a bad mood is if I'm hot or if my feet hurt. Then it's, I don't, I don't care where I am. I'm not a happy person. I can so. agree with that. And I don't really know. I, I'm kind of, I'm not cheap. I'm frugal on most everything else. So what about you guys? I'll go next. Um, 
I think for me, a big one, like computer equipment, like for my computer, definitely try to get the best I can afford at any time because it'll carry me longer and it'll make my experience better. Cars. I like to spend money on cars. It's a problem. Tell them what kind of car you got. I have a Dodge Challenger. It's a 2018 and it's my friend. <laughs> my only friend, actually. Uh, and then I, I would also say clothes. I like all clothes. I really like having nice clothes. I like being comfortable in my clothes. Why? Because it's comfort. It's a it's, comfort thing, or is it a? You know, it used to be. I think when I was younger, I was like, oh, I want to wear this brand because you know it makes it look like I have money or that kind of stuff. Now it's, I've gotten to a point where yeah, I wear like Ralph Lauren and stuff because it's more comfortable to wear. It's better quality. So that's clothes, cars, and computer stuff. That's where I'm at. So you have a champagne appetite on a beer budget. Is what Absolutely. Dad used to say. <laughs> what about you, Connor? Um. Shoes and clothes, definitely for me. Beef jerky. If oh, you can, my God. that's a good one. If you can find like a good brand of beef jerky, even if it's really expensive per pound, but they have like really good seasoning. It's cured bright. It's so good. Just well, we got the stores in our area that a guy did, and it's what is it? Tommy's. Tommy's beef jerky. Yeah. He might even be online. You should really check. Probably it's yeah. really good. Yeah. In fact, when Connor had braces, here we go, taking a story back in time. <laughs> Um, he wasn't allowed to have beef jerky when he had his braces. The day they came off, we literally drove down the street and went in and bought him all the beef jerky he wanted. You got me like $150 in beef jerky. That was amazing. That's the <laughs> best day ever. Oh, yeah. My grandma, every year for Christmas, loads me up on Tommy's jerky. This isn't a paid advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the owner was there the day we bought that for Connor and told him why. And he took a picture with Connor and put it on the Facebook page. That's awesome. And said, yeah, he got his braces off and where's the first place he came was here. That's awesome. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. That's a good one, Connor. You know, maybe a special video coming soon. Me and Connor actually make our own beef jerky. Yeah. How to cooking How tips. to tutorial. <laughs> oh. So the next question is... What is the luckiest thing that has ever happened to you? Oh. Don't say something lame. Giving birth to my son. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't. You're right there. Um, lucky, I would say, like a lucky coincidence kind of thing was when I met my husband. He uh, was friends with a cousin of mine that lived in a different state and came to a graduation party, and he almost didn't show he was like, nah, I kind of don't feel like it. And then he showed up anyway and then became very good friends with my brother. And then I was the tag-along little sister for a little while. And then once my brother got married and moved out, my he couldn't understand why Mr. Pudgy Picker kept visiting. He's like, I don't live there anymore, you know. So, awkward. Yeah. And the rest is history. So, yeah, that's kind of lucky, I think. Okay. You can go second this time, Connor. Oh, gosh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking hard. Right. Well, I guess I'll go. So for me, I feel like this is. I don't really have one distinct moment I can like put it on. I feel like I'm just kind of living on luck on a daily basis. Like every every job interview I've had, every person I've met, every relationship I've built has benefited me in some way, and I have not worked hard enough for that to happen. <laughs> Wow. I, I truly I truly do believe that. Like, I have lucked in some pretty interesting things. Like, I feel like my current job, while I worked really hard to get there, I lucked out in the way that everything progressed to get that. But is, is that true that it was luck, or is it just because you see opportunities where other people just aren't paying attention to it? I think, I guess, like, I'll be a little, like, I work at Apple now. I like my job. It's a cool place. And, um... It just so happened that when I was working at my previous place, my best friend, or one of my really close old friends, ended up working for Apple and came into where I worked before as a consultant, which I think is lucky. And then I ended up hitting it off with his boss, and you know, I could have hated his boss, which I think is lucky. So I feel like my life has just been a string of luck. Well, you're very personable, you know? And I think I think your age bracket give, gets a lot of grief for being lazy, and you don't know how to talk to people, and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think both of you guys are very, you know, very open to talk to people, and you look them in the eye, and stuff like that. And yeah. it's not usual. So that's, I, you know, I sure. think people see that. I did also win 500 on a scratch-off one, so I guess for just a... <laughs> 
Are you supposed <laughs> to be a certain age to buy those? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm 20. You gotta be 18. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about the family today. Oh, this looks pretty good. <laughs> so, Connor, give us yours before we finish. Uh, probably with my job. I called the main company that helps hire at different places, and within 10 minutes of the job showing up for a big hospital chain in the area, I managed to catch them just as they got the job in before they sent the email out to all their other people first. And so they happened to offer it to me before other people who have much better certifications than I do, and they ended up handing it to me, so. Luck. And this is, yeah. this <laughs> is the hospital that like people come from all over the world to come, that's your hint. Everybody knows what that is. Okay, well, we're at another garage sale, and we'll come back with hopefully lots of goodies. I don't know. We'll see. You know, you can't judge it when you pull up, so we'll see. <sighs> okay, prices at that last garage sale. Terrible. <laughs> Insanely high. So what was it? Was there anything you were looking at that was too high? Um, you, if you want to go first, no. I mean, pretty much everything. What we were initially <laughs> looking at, first off, there was a Nintendo Wii with a couple games. There was only one real notable game, Mario Kart Wii. And the thing about Wiis right now is when you're buying them to resell, a lot of people think they're worth something. And the reality is they're really not worth anything. They're in a really bad middle ground right now for resale where it's hard to make a lot of money on selling a Wii bundle or something. And so... So you have one really great game and the rest is just... Yeah. Yeah, like the game itself may have been worth $20, if that. And the Wii is worth maybe 30 on its own. And that's with box and everything. Because there it's like a new system still, but it's not a good one anymore. Yeah. So do you think it's ever gonna hit a point where it's gonna be worth some money, or do you think it was just so mass produced? I mean I, it I think give it 10, 15 years it'll be worth something. The same as like GameCubes are now worth something, and those were mass produced, and Nintendo 64s are worth something now, but even then, I, I just think that like, the Wii in general didn't have as much of a good game library as other systems. That's true. And it was much more widespread than just about any other console. So it was like super casual. A lot of people just got a ton of bad games for it. It'll, it probably will be worth something for certain games, but in the majority, it's not going to probably resell in the long term nearly as well as like the GameCube, which There's, has a ton of good titles right. on it. They sell for like 40 bucks now. I can see them maybe at some point you can get like 80 for them one day. Yeah. It's like they put so much effort into making it, and the controllers were cool because things were wireless. I don't know, it seemed like it had a lot going for it, and then it just kind of... It was cool at the time, but once you take out the wireless gimmick in the long term, then it's just kind of bad controls for a lot of pretty subpar games. Yeah. It's kind of rough on that part. But going back yeah. to the sale, uh, they also had a couple Lego kits. There was pricing on those, I mean, you would have been better off just going to Walmart and buying them brand new for an extra $10. They had a Lego Star Wars ship for $70, a, uh, like a Marvel Superheroes Lego set for $70, which probably wasn't even worth $70. It looked like a pretty lame one. So Lego Star Wars obviously will be selling more than any other kind of Lego kit, but yeah, just See, 70 that's the bucks. thing with people. Some people find Legos at garage sales and they get bags up for cheap. We, people around here rarely sell Legos, and if they do, even if it's like a bag of them, I mean, they're they priced. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's not something I really ever come across. It's it's one of those things where they remember <clears throat> that they paid a fortune for this Lego, and now they're probably mad that their kid doesn't play with it anymore, so they <laughs> want to try to get their money back, <laughs> but unfortunately, they're just not going to be able to sell it at all. Like, know, they'll sell, but it's like that, yeah, but it's, not you got to hit sale. that certain price yeah. point. And if you have, I, I tell people, you know, you go into a garage sale, it's a garage sale. When people go there, they have an expectation of what they're going to pay for stuff. Yep. When you go into Kohl's, you have an idea what you're going to be paying yep. for stuff. If you go to, you know, Macy's or somewhere super fancy. Going to like a Nordstrom, you yeah. know, you're going to be spending some money. Yeah, you don't go in and say, why is everything above $10? I mean, it's just, yep. it's, I don't know, it's just a way of thinking and I... And then people have a perceived value of what they think things are worth. There was just like a fur collar. It wasn't even an old one or anything. And they had like, they had like, uh, they didn't have a price on it. I said, how much? He said 25. And I was like, hey, put it back down. So. Go adopt the dog for that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
are real. But yeah, okay. but you gotta feed that one and clean up after it. <laughs> so, okay. Well, we're gonna have Rob in a minute. We'll see if we can look up some, some more questions here. Since we have a few minutes to drive, because we're done at our, the area we were in, so we'll do that next. Well, I mean, you can just edit it out. Okay. So we'll we're going to, well, the editor's saying we can edit things out, so. Yeah. It's <laughs> <That's> your job. <laughs> Okay, we have any more questions? So I've got a, a decent um, resale one. Okay, that'll work. Uh, what do you think your best find has been ever? Like either most memorable, most profitable, most interesting? Um, I think most profitable so far is I bought a, uh, a Black Forest uh, Cuckoo Clock fancy one really nice one uh, at a garage sale for like either five or seven dollars the lady was like practically begging me to take it off her hands and I, I had it listed for like 450 make offer everything worked except one particular thing on it which I disclosed of course and I think I sold it for close to 300 so as far as like profit Delta there that was probably my best one memorable. I don't know. I got some, I got some weird, wacky stuff I find. Um, also, I found a uh, 1950s stuffed monkey. Do you remember that? I don't. I got it at an auction. It had like a rubber face and rubber hands and feet. It was really creepy. Um, I got it at an auction for $5 and I listed it for like $150. Because uh, I, 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 whenever I see old stuffed animals, I'm like, somebody had this as a kid and they don't have it anymore and they want it. So I put it on eBay, best offer, like 150 and a lady ended up, I sold it to her for like $100. And she said she had it as a child and always, you know, cherished this monkey. And a couple years, several years ago when she was getting a, her, a divorce, her, her soon-to-be ex-husband picked it up and threw it in the fire. Is that a total uh -huh. jerk? So she was like, ever since then I've been looking for my friend. <laughs> and then when I sent it to her, she uh, sent me a message and said, I have my friend back. I was like, oh, That's awesome. Isn't that cool? So I, I like the, the warm fuzzy, warm That's fuzzy pretty stories. Sweet. Okay, you guys. Um... As, as far as my most valuable resale, I spent, it was a uh, vintage Japanese turntable from the late 70s that I bought from this guy, and he had it listed for, I think, 50 or 60 bucks, and I ended up paying the 50 for it, and after it was completely new, original packaging, I remember it was, that. That it was, was at a garage sale. It was amazing. I got to use it, and I was like, I really, really wanted to keep it, but it's just like, I need the money, you know, it's... And I, I don't want to hold on to something that crazy. So I ended up reselling that for 375 with they pay shipping. Did it go out of the country? I don't think so, actually. I think it stayed in the country. I was trying to remember. But shipping that thing was terrifying. I had to fully take apart all the major moving parts, make sure the rubber mat. Another important thing, when you're selling turntables and you're shipping them, take the rubber mat out and take the needle arm and the uh, actual needle off and wrap that separately. Because... If the rubber mat gets loose while it's shipping, it'll just shred the needle up. It'll mess up the tone arm. It just completely obliterates it. I had that happen once, and I had to, like, refund all the guy's money on another turntable. And as far as most memorable resale, um, for, I think it was $5, I bought a big Logitech driving wheel setup, and it was worth, I think I, think I sold that for 300 And I was able to hook that up to my computer, and before I sold it, I had to have so much fun with it. Like... I plugged it in. It had full metal gear pedals, gearbox, everything. You were well, able. Well, you to... had to test it. Oh yeah. So I hooked it up and I got to play driving <laughs> For games <three> months. <laughs> with a super nice setup and everything. I ended up selling it to a guy in Germany, and the shipping he must have paid two hundred dollars just in international shipping. Uh, do you to remember get it. how much it was? Because I do. How much was it? Six bucks. Oh yeah, just to get it to. The... I remember it was right down the street from where Robbie yep. lives. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That was just down the road from Rob's Isn't house. Isn't that weird now? You know, ask me something important and I ain't gonna remember, but I I do remember that. Oops, we're going yeah. the wrong way. Uh -oh. I'm too busy thinking. Okay, Rob, what's yours? 
Um, well, I haven't been doing it as long as you guys, but I, I still think it's probably <clears throat> just last week when I bought that Sega Genesis Nomad for five dollars. <laughs> um, it's it's worth about two hundred. It hasn't sold yet, but I'm pretty confident it will. But yeah. It came with a bunch of games and it was really cool and it's fun to play because it's nostalgic because I had something like it when I was a kid. So, yeah, I like we it. were we were talking about that earlier. I don't think we were recording that a lot of reasons why older things, especially games and animals and things, you know, people buy those because they either had them as a child, they don't anymore, or they didn't have them because their parents couldn't afford it or whatever, yeah. and now they have the money, they're an adult, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to yep. be buying that. So we're turning around, but this appears to be trash day, so I have to look. I need a shelving unit? <laughs> well, I have one more question if yes, you want to do it. Yes, we are ready. So this one is, what is something that you do that you feel takes up too much of your time? <laughs> Raising kids. Playing video games. <laughs> but I love it anyway. I, I can definitely agree with Connor on that one. Yeah? Yeah, that's, definitely. That's a pretty easy one. <laughs> playing video games. Now, see, I, I said raising kids. I was being... That was one of the most fulfilling things of my life. You just did it. It was as a long-term investment, so I'll be able to take care of you and give you money later on. Yup! Oh. oh, somebody behind us got pulled over. Oh, I thought that was Ooh. us. <laughs> Good thing I didn't know one of my infamous Yui's. <laughs> I think he was flying. They probably didn't pick that up on. Okay. Yeah, he was a. And that was a officer on a on a bike too. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but my my dad, when he was a state trooper for twenty two years, he was on a bike at some point yep. for several years, and. Uh, had stories about that. The worst of which, when a when a road went off and turned into a Y, and there was a cornfield, and he went straight. <laughs> it got all cut up by the corn. Wow. Yeah. Do you still have that photo of him where he posed for the Goodyear advertisement yes, with the tires? I do. Yes. I'll, you should show me that, and I can edit that in this video where it shows it, so they can see what I'm talking about. That is such a cool photo. Yeah, he was actually he modeled for. Uh, Goodyear tires. He was he was a very striking figure in his in his outfit. And I, if you follow me on Twitter under the Pudgy Picker, I have posted a picture of my dad before. So if you go back in my history, you'll see it with the hat at an angle. Yeah. He was very intimidating, very striking, icy blue eyes. And if he pulled me over and I didn't know him, I would probably crap my pants. <laughs> Funny story about that, we were coming back from Kentucky where my grandparents lived and it was just right after my brother got his driver's license and he was driving and my dad and mom were sitting in the back seat and my brother and I, he was driving and I was sitting next to him and he got pulled over for speeding and the guy looked at the driver's license and said, do you know, and said my dad's name <laughs> and my brother goes, yeah. And my dad just sitting in the back seat. He was so frosted. He was so mad. He's like, didn't say, yeah, he's in the back seat. Hey, dad, roll down the window. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That's awesome. That's the thing when, when Mr. Pudgy Picker says, you know, someday we'll laugh about this. And I go, not today. That was a not today. Okay, so we are two minutes away from our next one. We got like five more. We're like almost halfway down, I'd say. Okay, more questions next, hopefully. Getting to know us. Okay. I can't believe that. So you bought you bought something that I kinda looked at and it was kinda eh. So tell me about that one first. So I bought a, a sealed in the package 3D puzzle set. It's the Empire State Building. I paid five bucks for it. I have I really don't know what it's worth. I saw a couple for like 150 bucks. But uh I, I couldn't find any sold listings. I couldn't find it brand new anywhere. But what really got me is all the other ones I saw were like 40 piece sets, 50 piece sets, all that kind of stuff. This was a 930 piece set. And it's sealed in the box. So I thought that was neat. It was, I said five bucks and he said yes. So that's all that mattered to me. Wow. So I, I think it'll be neat. Okay, what was the other awesome item that you got? So this, I don't know if it's worth anything and I really don't care. But. <laughs> 
It, it's a Me Wii Extreme. So basically, it's someone takes a Nintendo Wii, and it's a bootleg console. It's not real. It's not a Nintendo Wii. Um, but it's loaded with a bunch of really bad games. <laughs> like, it's not a good thing to have, but it's unique in the fact that it's it's bootleg. It's fake. Are you going to be able to sell that on eBay? I Yes. I'm not because... As long as you specify that it's not a Nintendo Wii. Not a Nintendo Wii. It says it doesn't try to be a Nintendo Wii. It's very... It distinguishes itself. It's a Mi Wii. Ex <laughs> extra or whatever. Extreme. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Wii exactly. It's it's real not knockoff bootleg stuff. But as long as I don't try to sell it as a Wii, it's fine. Yeah, you know, I think there's that distinction of saying this is the name brand. This is what it is. And yes. then it's not. Yes. I don't know. That's... So I, I I couldn't find any for sale or that have sold anywhere. Couldn't find it new. I couldn't find it used. But it's neat, and you, if it doesn't sell, it's something I'd be happy to have in my collection. Well, you know they they had ones that were uh, that were made like that, but they were French. Yeah. There's a wee wee. Oh, the wee wee. Oh. <laughs> you know I've, I've never O U I O U I a wee wee. Wow, I bet that was a real big hit down there. I know. Over there. Up there, Down wherever there. wherever France is, <laughs> over there, across the pond. Oh gosh, but yeah, <laughs> that was an interesting garage that now, I found interesting tell, things. Uh, when you asked how much it was, I I liked your negotiating. Uh yeah, so I I looked at Connor and I said I will pay five dollars for this, <laughs> and he was like, okay, man. Connor still thinks it's dumb. I can tell, but I don't care. I like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, we'll plug it in and play it. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to do five on this. I figured, I didn't know what he was going to have this thing priced at. It's obviously not a Nintendo Wii, which is funny because we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. But I go up and I'm like, what would you have on this? And he says $20. And I'm like, well, that's not happening. And I said, well, I'll do 10. And he's like, well, I'll do 15. And then I, I basically said, well, I'm not buying it for 15. And I said, I'll do 10. I'm no, gonna, what did you say? I can't remember. You said... I'm, I think I just said I'm at 10. You said, I'm at 10. I can't, I if can't, you can't go any higher than 10. If you can't, it's okay. And I was like, oh, you, you gave him that. Yeah. I I tried to be like, well, because it's true. If you can't do it, it's fine. But I'm not doing more than $10. I'm just going to go home and cry in my pillow. Because I couldn't buy the MeWe. <laughs> I want a MeWe. But, uh. And he's like, okay. Yeah, so he did 10. Now, the lady that I was talking to, the older couple that was there, they are at my store. Really? So okay. that's what I was, because I always see other vendors, so that's when I went up and said, boy, they let anybody in here, didn't they? And then she turned around to look. You're the one who said that. Yeah, that I was, was me. Was, I was like, gosh, someone's real mean. I know, that was me. She turned and she goes, oh, it's you. So. Yeah, that, that guy, he had some interesting stuff. I, I would love to have stayed longer, I think, but I also didn't want to stay there all day. <laughs> um, but he had, he had real neat things. He had things. an eclectic mix yes. of stuff. Yes, he did. Which is kind of cool, so. It was it was neat, and I'm happy about that bus. He had a, what year was the Corvette he had? That was like a 90, 96, I think. 96 or 97 Corvette. It's one of these days I'm going to fix that car up. Yeah, it definitely didn't look like it moved, so. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I looked, and we have like six more, so we're probably a little more than halfway done. So we're in our next one. Connor, you didn't buy anything? No. The only thing you've got today is what, the printer? Yep. And he's, it's actually technically my printer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll PayPal you the money. No, I want cash. You got it in cash? Thanks. No. <laughs> oh, looks okay. like you got a new printer. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna pause this and, and beat my child, so. <laughs> yeah. Lunch. I wanna sleep. Well, yeah, everybody's like full and wants to take a nap now. Well, we saw a really cool new restaurant, and it was like Thai street food. So we were like, yeah, let's let's go over there. And then we pull in, and it said, coming soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're all like, such disappointment. We were all so sad. So, yeah, uh, we stopped at Wendy's. And I got a chili and a salad. What did I both get? Chili chicken wrap. I got a Baconator with no bun. No buns. No bun. So, yeah. So, I think we have like, what, four, four or five more sales? So, I don't know. I think Rob spent the most so far today. Yeah, definitely. Especially because I bought Connor lunch. Yeah, I Thanks. said I said somebody's buying me lunch today because 
I've been carting all your carcasses around, so somebody's going to buy me lunch. Yeah. So. I think I have, besides that, I think I have like maybe 30 bucks set to spend so far. 30, 35. I think, well, I spent most of my money at the very first sale. And yeah. that was like, that was it. So. Yep. I, I did end up getting a, uh, a Bluetooth speaker that sells for between 50 and 75 and uh, as we were walking back to the car, I dropped it. So I hope it works. Oh. <laughs> Careful Rest about the easy. handle on stuff. I know, I just oh. kind of let go and I saw it and I was like, ooh. It's pretty hard shell plastic, so I'm pretty confident it'll be good, but... You were just testing it. Yeah, yeah I was testing the durability, you know. Okay. That's one way to hide your mess ups. I, you know what though? I can't, I can't talk bad about it because yeah, I either. break stuff all the time, and I don't break stuff at garage sales. I pay for it and then I break it. Yeah. So, yeah, I have. In fact, I've bought on a few occasions. Uh, it's like a Japanese war horse. Mm -hmm. If you look it up, you know it's. But I mean, I've bought a few ceramic ones. Every time I buy one, I bust it. Really. The one I busted like its head broke off and then I got another one and I had like a big chip or something I'm like I'm just not meant to own these never buying them again yeah no I'm going to because I'm going to see if this is a real streak or what is this <laughs> I mean something's something's not right <clears throat> so this one is that we're going to next there's a few that are kind of out of our way but I was desperate because we only had 14 garage sales today and a couple of them were a little further than I normally go just because, yeah. So I don't know if we're going to have a rally of it, you know, having a little more now that kids are back to school and then people are like, yeah, I'm going to have a garage sale before it gets cold. So I don't know. It'll be, I just keep going until there aren't any more to go to. And then it seems like it dries up on a Thursday or a Friday and then people just have them on the weekends. That so, sucks. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't. People think it's hilarious. I don't garage sale on weekends. I just don't. What? With work, I just can't. So for me, if yeah, it's on the weekends. It's a it's a no go for me. I went to put one in the GPS yesterday, and it said it was like four to eight p.m. And I was like, what? I don't think I'm gonna be out that late. Well, that's so. That's such a weird time for So us. I don't know if it was that was the first day, so they had the evening, and then full day Friday, full day Saturday. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Must be hoping to catch people leaving work or something. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I'd want people showing up to my house at 8 p.m., though. No. Yeah, it's starting to get dark by then, right? isn't it? So, yeah, we don't usually come down here. This is very hilly down through here. So yeah, I think I did best at the first sale, and I spent the most money. I got a vintage Yahtzee game, which I'm probably going to keep, because me and Mr. Budget Picker play that. I may look it up, of course, first and see. And I got some, uh, like, salad tongs. And I ended up getting them for free, because he thought it was cool that I still play Yahtzee. <laughs> I was say, he was insisting that you'd keep your 50 cents Yeah, there. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll take it. You were trying to give it to him. He's like, no, no, take it. Hey, <laughs> I don't refuse free. Free is my favorite phrase. Free is the best. You drove past it. Um, we passed it? Yeah, you passed it. Did I? It was up there no. in the middle. That's where all the cars are parked. You do this all the time. I know. I'm distracted. <laughs> Real time. Bad <sighs> driving. Hey, I'm not bad. <laughs> I drove by your house this morning. We had to pick you yeah, up. Yeah, we had to turn to Yui on the road <laughs> as well. God, really? it's just gone over there, over there. Oh, gosh. I know. I did a Yui right in the middle of the street, too. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a four-lane busy street. There was, it wasn't busy. Yeah, it was pretty empty in there. Was it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what we can manage to... Hopefully we come back with a bunch of awesome goodies and great stories. Yeah. I haven't had any like really weird experiences this this summer. Usually, I mean, I had Umbrella Lady and all kinds of wacky people stuff. Is this it right here? Yeah. How much would you give me to pull all the way up? I will give you. Please don't. <laughs> Just do it. Why not? Connor hates it. He's like, don't pull in the driveway. Okay. Let's see if we get anything good. Hey, last garage sale. 
we just went to. Wait, that was the last one? No, we got three more. I'm oh, saying yeah. the last one we were just to. Oh. It was called a dramatic pause. You didn't pause, you kept talking. No, it was a I, last garage sale. Just go ahead. That we went. <laughs> that Wait, are we on video? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so behave. On a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> So tell them what it is and how much you paid. This is a BAE Systems Advanced Combat Helmet. Um, Here, can I bottle it? Yeah, absolutely. If I put it on your head, you can wear it. Probably cool. Um, look at that. So that's a yeah, it's a combat helmet, probably actually used in the Middle East, I would imagine. It doesn't have the cover though. They actually have covers on them that they make that would go around this, but that doesn't stop any more bullets. So it's still a pretty cool thing. Um, I was guessing, and I'm sure people will chime in that know about these things, I was guessing Desert Storm, but I could be wrong. That was before y'all were thought of. That is true. I don't know, it's like a that little... That was right after we were married. It definitely had something mounted to the front of it, I don't know, maybe night vision, camera or something, you could see where the holes were where they mounted it. Yeah. Um, but even with that, I think... I'm gonna ask 100 bucks for it. I paid ten dollars for it. If I end up getting 50 or 40, or if I get 15 dollars for it, either way, yeah, I think I will make money on the helmet. And if I don't, it's I think it's a cool thing to have. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> uh oh. He said it could probably be different bullets that wouldn't penetrate it. I said we should try it out. <laughs> it definitely doesn't fit me very well. Oh. <laughs> You wouldn't, man. you wouldn't be very protected in no. that. <laughs> okay, I think we have like three more. Um, so, talking about the pricing at that garage, so what type of things did they have and what was their pricing structure there? Um, well, for one, they didn't have prices on anything, you had to ask. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I can kind of understand it. You know, it takes a lot of time to individually price things. Yeah. Uh, they had a lot of stuff, too. I they had a tell. lot of postcards, yes. old books. Um, they had some like jewelry, silver jewelry. Um, some of the military items. Lots of military items. Yeah. Different Lots. badges, ribbons, that sort of thing. It was. I mean, this I feel like I got a good deal on. Um, a lot of the stuff seemed priced pretty high, though. A lot of medals they were selling, commemorative medals. Um, lots of World War II paraphernalia and stuff like that, but. All priced high. Well, they're they not. Yeah, they're not what I would consider the best for garage selling for us because we're resellers. If you were a collector, that would be a lot of what you would probably be paying for if you bought it somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. I'd say as a collector, you might even get like a small deal on it. I like what I like what Connor did. He looked up something and then he offered a price and the guy's like, oh no, that's worth about this much. And Connor goes, really? <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. I just tried to play it off. Because the thing was, I mean, Rob already offered like 10 or $15 for that helmet. So I figured if he's able to get such weird items and be willing to take a small amount on them, I found like a drive wrench that's used for electricians, two to $300. And so I was just like, oh, hey, I just hold up the wrench to him. I was like, hey, would you do $10 for the wrench? He's like, oh, no, that's worth a lot of money. I was like, oh, really? I didn't know. So, See? That's, yeah, you kind of play. Oh, the other thing I do, and, and Rob did this, and I was going to say something to you earlier. You're like, how much for this so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so game? And I'm like, that's when you just go, how much for this or how much for the games? And then you hold up the lamest one that's laying there, and they yeah. go, ah, buck. And then you go over, and they're like, well, uh, I know, okay, just an hour. So yep. another helpful Another helpful hint. So, yeah, so I think we got like three more. So, Connor, did you buy anything? Not that one, no. I'm having a fun day. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, th I think garage sale season's kind of winding down. And I think it usually happens that way around when all the kids are going back to school. And then it kind of spikes up a little bit in September when it's like, if we're gonna have a garage sale, we better like, Do we better now. like get on it yeah. before the weather gets cold. So, yeah. So I don't know. I know certain places people have garage sales year round, but even places like Texas and all that, they don't have them in the summer because it's 100. 
15 degrees outside. Yep. Nobody wants to sit out in their garage or even go out and garage sale at that time of year. Yep. So, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully we'll do good at the last few ones. We'll see. Okay, guys, so we are at the end of the day. My phone kind of overheated, so we are done with footage in the car. We ended up going to 12 garage sales. We kind of cut it short because we were by Savers. So we said, ah, what the heck, let's go into Savers. So I bought three, two items there. So, no. Yeah, two items, no big deal. So let me jump in and show you what I got. As I said, we went to 12 garage sales and Savers, and I spent $51. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got, and then uh, Rob will show you what he got, and Connor's stuff too. So one sale was kind of a little bit expensive, but I actually picked this very adorable little statue of a little boy and girl, $3, and it is heavy. It does have some chips, which I can use a little bit of shoe polish or something and kind of blend that in. And it will be fine. That will go in my booth for probably $16 to $18. Found this very cute uh, British phone booth. Uh, it's all metal. Uh, let's see. And it was $5. Ironically enough, I found these at the thrift store. They were $5 uh, salt and pepper shakers that are also the phone booth. And I used one of my 20% off uh, coupons that I use for the Savers Club. And uh, so I got that at 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, one dollar off, so I paid four. Um, the other item I got at Savers was, there's about a yard and a half. It was 99 cents, so I got 20 cents off, so not too bad some very cute fabric with fruit on it. Um, I got this for $1.50. It is a nutcracker. I don't know if you've ever seen these. It's all wood and you put the nut in there and crack it open. So I will use some of my Howard's uh, wood, uh, you know, perk this the color up on that a bit. Um, I also got these tongs. They ended up being free. They were 50 cents, but I bought something else and got talking with the guy, and he said, just give me a dollar for the other item. So, yeah, these are great for grilling. I have ones that are much shorter, and yeah, that gets a little hot. <laughs> um, another interesting item I got from Lee, War Lee Ward's, uh, very vintage, as you can tell. It was only a quarter. It is a Bucilla rug, latch hook rug. It is not a kit, of course, but... It is this awesome, very vintage moonlit. Uh, you can do it in, uh, oh, they have sunset and moonlit. It's essentially the same thing, but this one, of course, is different colors, whatever you use, and you can buy the uh, cut yarn separately. And we're gonna bark. Okay, I also thought this was kind of funny, and this will sell in my booth please check with receptionist upon leaving that was 50 cents so i'll look that up i'm going to look up the latch hook card uh or the latch hook uh rug um the nutcracker will probably go for 15 to 16 dollars i'll have to do my research but i thought this was a very awesome vintage uh paint my number it is a black panther very cool the uh frame is old and you can tell the way it was uh the way that it was framed so that's kind of cool that will go on ebay uh, these do pretty good some do better than others depending on the subject matter and i only paid a dollar i got this no pulling harness for my niece's dog <laughs> she's trying to work with him and we were talking about getting one of these uh, i was with my sister and this was at a garage sale for only two dollars so, and it is a size large because she does have a big dog. I got this uh, for $2, this Aveda Botanical Kinetics uh, Skin Firming Toning. Yeah, we'll see if that works. <laughs> also for, I believe, four was this Adam Levine um, cologne. It is barely used. It looks like a microphone. So if that does not go in uh, on eBay, it'll go in my booth. But it'll probably do well. It's probably going to fetch me, I'd guess, around 20 if not a little bit better. 
got these. They were two dollars each at a uh, at a garage sale, of course. Uh, this one says the guys, and this one says what I like about you. These are Sonoma brand, so they're I don't know what pennies I think carries that. The original price on these, well, Malden is the one of this one. And, uh, look at the original price on that at Kohl's. Isn't that crazy? So these will go in my booth probably for six to seven dollars each. Um, I got this hand tooled uh, little carrier. I don't know, you could put your phone or whatever in it. It clips on a belt loop. And it is very cool with the uh, the horses on it. Um, that was $4. That will go on eBay pending research. And I got lots of tops, which was awesome. I went to a garage sale I've gone to before, and I just never looked at the clothes. And I'm like, not sure why. Uh, these are all either Avenue. I think they're all Avenue, except maybe one is Catherine's. So these are um, larger sizes. This is an Avenue 26, 28. It's like a t-shirt with like a little gathered spot. This one was two. Uh, this one is a very cute tie-dye shirt. Avenue, it is a 30, 32 for two. This one is an Avenue 30, 32, and it was $3. These are very pretty. I love that one, but it's too big. Avenue... It's kind of a tie-dye or ombre, 26, 28. It goes darker as it gets toward the bottom. That was only three. This one is an Avenue. It's the very real sheer one, but it does have the uh, second piece to it. So that is a 30, 32, and it was four. It's essentially two piece. This one's very cute. It's like a t-shirt, but then it has this lace over it. It is a 2628 or a 3X Catherine's. That was also two. Oh, I did buy this at the thrift store, so this is a third item. It was $4.99. It's a real no parking fire lane sign. I will do my research on eBay. If not, these will always sell in my booth. Um, so I'll do, of course, research. See what it would do better. These are pretty easy to ship, so no big deal on that. Um, this one is an Avenue... $26.28, $2. I really, really like it. I love the uh, the stitching. And then on the bottom, on the edges, it's got this little gathering. Very cute. Um, this is the item where I got the tongs for free. This is uh, a very vintage Yahtzee game. Um, if it is complete and it's worth something online, I may end up selling it. But me and Mr. Pudgy Picker love to play Yahtzee. We go to Panera... We go all over to play. If I can get, the, hang on one second, if I can get the dump thing open. There we go. So it's got the, uh, the cup in here to, I don't know. Let me see. So it's got, yeah, it looks opened, but I don't know. It may not even have the, uh, does it have the, uh, yeah, there's the original dice. I don't understand what these chips are for. I'm going to actually have to read the instructions and figure that out. But then it's got that, and then it has some the instructions, which is cool, and then it has uh, the Yahtzee uh, in there. So, yeah. It's funny, when I went to check out, the lady was like, well, that's probably going to sit in your closet like a sat in ours. I go, no, it's not. We use those. <laughs> And then the guy's like, you play Yahtzee? I'm like, oh, yeah, we love it. He goes, oh, it's a great game. So when I went to give him $1.50 for this and the tongs, that's when he goes, nah. He goes, you're a Yahtzee player. You're good. So, yeah, so not too bad. So use those. I believe that is all that I got today. Not too bad. Um, I am so behind on clothes. I'm definitely going to have to start getting my butt in gear. I have a lot that are I've washed and dried them, and they're hanging up. So, of course, picture taking is the next fun bit of listing clothes. So, let's move on to Rob and Connor's finds, and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, guys, it's Rob here. Uh, this is my haul for the day, as well as some of Connor's stuff. Here's Connor. Hi. So, it was a pretty solid day um, in the few sales we had. We had, like, how many sales? Like, 12? 12 and a Sabres. And a Sabres run. 
So first sale of the day, I got all these big box PC games. So if you ever find any video games for the, for the computer and they're in the big boxes and have a lot of the stuff, they can be worth a ton of money. Like this one alone here is probably worth just 30 bucks on its own. And then I got EverQuest. It's a really popular video game from... Connor, when did EverQuest come out, the first one? Probably 15 years ago? 96 or 97. Jeez. So it's probably almost over 20 years old for sure. So this is like some collector's special edition. I've never seen it, but it comes with like this really heavy brass figure. It probably weighs a few pounds. The full game and some, some maps as well of the game world. So really neat stuff, all in great condition. Don't know what it's worth, but it's cool. I also picked up this sealed giant series 902 piece 3D puzzle empire state building. Um, I picked it up for five bucks. It looks like they're going for about a hundred, so that should be pretty cool. And then this here BAE Systems combat helmet. I believe you guys saw it before, but it's pretty cool. Picked that guy up for ten dollars. Then me and Connor went half on this JVC mini VHS camcorder. I've never seen one of these and been too young for that, but it's pretty cool looking. I think we can make some money on it. I remember the days when you used to have to carry the unit that the tape went in. Yep. One person would carry it and then it would have the cord to that. That's crazy. Guess who on vacation had to carry it? Was it you? Bink. <laughs> so you're never in any of the videos? <laughs> no, I'm just lugging mm. it around. Um... Gosh, what is? Let's go into some of Connor's stuff here. You got these Phillips car TVs, a two set with all the cables. That was pretty sweet. Got that from Savers. And here's the Yamaha speaker that promptly, after I negotiated the price down for him, he dropped in the driveway of the sale. It still turns on. We're good. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> also, guys, look at Connor. He's rocking some new facial hair. It's really nice. Oh, be nice. <laughs> well, I think he looks great. I'll shave it. Don't worry. And I picked up, this is probably one of the weirdest things I've ever found. It's called a Mi Wii. And no, it is not a Nintendo Wii. It's a knockoff bootleg Mi Wii from China. I've never seen one, really struggling to find it on the internet, but it sure is strange. So I had, I had to own it for $10. So if anybody has any information, you can leave it in the comments section. Yes, please. I would appreciate it. I have no idea what it is. And then to finish it off, Connor picked up a printer at the first sale of the day. Nice Canon printer. What'd you pay for this guy, Connor? Like ten bucks. Ten bucks. Oh, it's, and look at that. it says it right there. <laughs> Pre-owned it sells for between seventy eighty. At least where the sold listings are. So, oh, it's I'll awesome. It's on around there. Well, cool. Well, thanks, guys. We gonna do this again next week. Yes, we will. Uh, pick me up same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, so Everybody. they forgot to sign off by saying please follow me on instagram and twitter under the pudgy picker you can also check out my pinterest board at pinterest.com of course but that's just pudgy picker and also subscribe if you haven't already you can leave a comment down below i would appreciate it and a thumbs up and right. if you click the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell because <laughs> i am not showing up in people's feeds so that's that's not good so you guys done? What other social media platforms are you on? Just name them all. I actually have the domain for pudgypicker.com, but I haven't done anything with it, so I need well, a Pudgy I need Picker a web merch. person. We'll get to that eventually. When are you creating some merch? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anything to make that cash, people. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Bye. Happy picking. <laughs>